Kuberg Freerider. Just got this bike from my buddy Rob this morning. I think it's straight out to the trails. I spent about 20 minutes riding it around now and thought I have to do a video. This bike, if I can describe it in one word, I guess it's insane. It's 80 pounds, it's 14 kilowatts, so just a little over 18 horsepower. Think about that, 80 pounds, 18 horsepower. It is quick. Like, we're not talking Sir Ron kind of knee quick, we're talking full-size motorcycle fast. And it's so small and light, it just has in just crazy fast handling. Uh, 180 mil travel, it's got a, it's got a nice uh, mountain bike air fork. Uh, I've got it set about 85 PSA. That's like, I'm 190 pounds, so that's that's kind of a medium setting of clickers. It's got adjustable high and low speed rebound and compression damping. Rear shock, the uh, DNM, it's a decent shock, and uh, we've got mid settings on it. Uh, 180 travel, as I mentioned. Uh, this motor is so tiny. Look at this little frame. Uh, the feel of the bike generally is just way stronger than a Surron. These wheels feel a lot tougher. The funny thing is, these are uh, Maxxis Creepy creepy Crawlers, and they say 20, 20 by 2.5, but really the inside diameter is 16 diameter, but the outside's 20 inch, I guess. Anyhow, I wish they were a little bigger. But they do have decent traction for the dry conditions today. This is a tiny little chain. It's got mountain bike brakes on it. Uh, which seem fine, especially for the weight of the thing. But it's the ergos and kind of this front end geometry. I don't know if you can see it, but the but the handlebars are a little bit ahead of the fork, so it feels quick. The steering is just quick. The battery mounts in here, and it is thin. Like, it's super thin. And the foot pegs... They're probably only seven inches apart. It feels like your legs, your feet are just together on it. So it's a totally different feel when you're riding it. It just feels, um, it, 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 you know, you're used to come, a motorcycle that you grip, but again, this is kind of crossing those lines between mountain bikes and dirt bikes and that, especially because it's so light. You can see the build, it's very thin. And for as thin as everything is, it feels kind of strong, especially coming off a of Surron. Handlebars are narrow. Uh, it's got three different power modes. I'm running the max power mode, and uh, we'll just go out for a little ride here on the trails. The, 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 the predominant feeling dynamically on the thing is just the quickness of the front end. And, I just don't have much confidence in it. It's just so, it just turns and doesn't feel that stable. It's so responsive. I'm trying to get over the front a little bit more and move around, but the, the power is just incredible for quick acceleration. And, it, and it's like full-size motorcycle quick, not just, oh, this is kind of cool, Surron quick, but really fast. And again, this uh, agility and this tight stuff is exceptional. I did a I did a lap time on my little loop here and got down to a 144, just real, just trying it for the first time. And I'm not even optimized. And I think my best ever is a 41 or 42. So we're almost right there at the record without even trying. Super quiet. Doesn't have a speedo, but I think by the specs it goes about 45 miles an hour, which feels a lot faster with these little wheels. I'm looking forward to doing some back-to-backs with it. I'll do my Surron and bring the Surron over here and maybe my electric free ride KTM and and then some of my dirt bikes too. This is this kind of this new segment of 
bikes that's like a cross between a mountain bike and a dirt bike. I think it's got a 2.3, 2 kilowatt hour battery and it. it's supposed to last an hour and big power, but I think it'll go longer if you, if you don't run it on the max speed. And honestly, in these tight woods, it really doesn't need all this power, but it's too much fun. Kuberg. Free rider, man, that's crazy. Insane, lightweight, super quick handling, stealth, big power. This is like a new segment. These things are coming, and uh, Kubrick's out. I'm sure KTM's got stuff coming. I hope some of the other manufacturers do too. It's just such a cool experience for off-road kind of dirt biking, and it's electric, so it's it's quiet, but. I mean, 80 pounds, you can throw it in the back of your car. It's, it's that easy to pick up. Uh, and this one with the 14 kilowatt, man, it's, it's fast. So looking forward to, I'll get some more videos, some different locations. Looking forward to more seat time on it soon. But for now, two thumbs up for the Kuberg, Kuberg Freerider.